Hey guys, what's going on? We're here with a brand new video, and today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about the properties of a part in Roblox Studio. <laughs> So we're going to be talking about the properties. So for this tutorial, for this tutorial, you're going to want to have the explorer and the properties tab open. And if they're not open, just go to the view section and then click on these and make sure they're dark. Once they're dark, they should appear here and there you go. Unless you move them because you can move these these around in their spots. I'm just going to keep mine here, and uh, let's, let's get on with this video. So, the properties of a part. Properties are very important in pretty much building and scripting in Roblox Studio. So, they're actually one of the most important parts of Roblox game development. So, properties, the definition of property, a property is a characteristic or trait that you can use to describe matter by observation, measurement, or combination. So that that's what a uh, a property is. So these are the properties. So like brick color, you can change the color of the part. That's pretty standard for our first property, brick color. So brick color gives you like a hundred different colors to choose from. But, um, what if you want something a little different? You can go down here to color, and then give it a, give it a specific color, an exact color. We'll do, like, a dark green. How about that? Like a, look at that. Of course, it's parsley green. Exact same thing. But, it's not, but, anyways. So, that's what color does. So, cast shadow cast shadow see how when I move this it's very realistic because it casts a shadow and the sun's right right up there and it'll cast a shadow um, however it looks whatever shape it is but um, you can actually turn this off so there's no this part doesn't cast any shadows and um, in lighting, you can just turn off shadows altogether. But if you're make, trying to make a realistic game and a place is too dark and the roof is has cast shadow on, I recommend just turning that off and not turning off global shadows. So cast shadow is exactly as it says. If it's unchecked, it's false. If it's checked, it's true. Reflectance. Reflectance. We'll just make this part a bit bigger like this. Reflectance. If we turn up the reflectance, you can see that it gets, um, well, reflective. See, it reflects the sky above. Um, but it, it can only reflect the sky. That's all it can really do. So, yeah. This is probably best on the material glass. Because it's already, the glass is already a tiny bit reflective, but if you just do it a tiny bit more, maybe make it transparent a bit, it makes it much better. All the way reflective. Anyways. Reflective does uh, exactly that. It makes it reflective. Change this back to plastic. So that, and transparency, the higher you go, the more transparent it is. One is completely transparent, zero is no transparent. So, now down here. So, a bunch of these data things you won't need to worry about unless you're doing, like, heavy scripting or something. But center of mass, you don't really need to worry about that. That's just where the center of the mass is. But class name, mass, you don't need to worry about most of this stuff. Um, the name. Names are important. Like, let's say, just for organizing. So let's say this is gonna become a tree or something. We'll name it tree, and the name becomes tree. Well, let's name it um, test part. Now I named it test part, and there you go. You can see up here and down here it is called test part. 
So if I never ever need to search up in the filter test part, it'll come up right there. Which is pretty cool. Remember your names. Names are important. They're very organized. There you go. Orientation. Right. Orientation is pretty much rotation. It's pretty much rotation. Okay? I mean, I'm going to be straight with you. It's pretty much uh, rotation. Um, it's with the X. Like, let's do 5 on the X. Um, 60 on the X. Look at that. It's pretty much rotation. Um, if I just do it like this, the rotation. Uh, the orientation, we'll put it back to zero, zero, zero. So you can see if I rotate it, the orientation changes as well. Um, it's basically just rotation, but in properties form. There we go. It's basically what orientation is. Now, um, parent, parents, parents, parent, parent, parent. So let me add a part. Um... Whoa, that part's big, small, I mean. So let's say, okay, get that out of there. Let's say I want this to be inside of this. Then the parent, I'd make the parent this part. So like, the, right now the parent is the workspace because it's inside the workspace. So let me make the parent this. So now the parent of test part is this part, and the parent of that part. So it's a it's pretty much a model now. Except when I grab this, it won't be. Um, parents aren't too important if you're just going to use a model, but sometimes in scripting they are sometimes. So um, yeah, let me uh, change this parent back to workspace. And delete this, and there we go. So let's continue on the properties. So the parent is a workspace. Position. Position is where it is. If I position it 0, 0, 0, it's going to be directly in the middle of the space here. If I do it 1, 1, 1, it's going to be up here. Let's do 400, 400, 400. It's basically where it's positioned inside your workspace. Let me find this. Alright, it's up here. So, um, let me reset that to 0, 0, 005. Just to get it on the ground a bit. Alright, let's reset that. That's pretty much what position means, where it is inside your workspace. I don't really think you need to worry about that because you can just position it out here, but if you're in scripting sometimes. Velocity. Velocity is like, like movement. Um, so like if I put that as the velocity and I hit uh, play here. Um, you know what? I actually really don't know what velocity does in this. It's more scripting stuff. So yeah. Hold on. Two zero zero. That's going to be my velocity. Alright, play here. Yeah, it, it, um, yeah, I actually have no idea what velocity does, so um, don't quote me on that, but yeah. So, I don't know what rot velocity does. Yeah, rot velocity does either. But, let's continue. Anchored. Anchored is very important. See, um, so if it's not anchored, and I play the game... The part's just going to fall straight down like you just saw there. But if I anchor it, if I anchor the part right up here, you can also anchor it right over here. Hit play here. It's going to stay inside the air if it's anchored. Anchoring is very important because I'd say it's one of the most important things, especially in building. Uh, yeah. All right. Archivable. Archivable means, um, let me undo, uncheck anchored and just put this back down. So, if I play here, 
And it is archivable. If it's our Okay. Here it is. So if it's archivable, when I play, I can see it. But if it's not... Alright, hold on. I gotta demonstrate it like this. So, no matter what, if it's archivable or not archivable, I can see it in studio. But if it's not archivable, and I hit play here, then the part will not be there. It'll only be inside the studio. So if you want your part to be in the game, make sure it's archivable. Can Collide. Let me anchor this real quick. Can Collide is pretty cool, but, um... Like, Can Collide's on, right? Can Collide's all on. It's all good. Can Collide is on. It's true. Uh, so I can collide with this part. It stops me. It's like a wall. It works. It works fine. But if I turn Can Collide off, then I can walk right through the part. I can just walk right through it. So that's what Can Collide does. It decides if you're you can collide with it. Collision Group ID. Um. Whoa. 800. I have no idea what this is doing, but, um, some pretty odd stuff. Um, uh, because I've no, I've no, I don't know what this is. One. What does one do? Okay, I guess this is kind of like Can Collide, but I, I wouldn't mess around with it. Only use Can Collide. Locked. Alright. So if, the, if a part is locked, Part is locked. I can't click on it in studio. I have to click on it in here and unlock it. If it's not locked, I can click on it in studio. Pretty simple. Massless. This is for um if it's unanchored. Like let's play here. Like so currently it it has no mass. Um, it just has no mass. <laughs> That's pretty much what massless is. Um, let me anchor it and undo that. You don't need to worry about the resize faces and resize increment. You don't have to worry about custom physical properties or root priority. I recommend not messing around with those, but a lot of people don't know this for some reason. But if you mess up, like, you, you insert a, a, you insert a cylinder when you meant to insert a block... And you, you try to d you delete it, and then you go all the way back up and insert a block. You can actually just go down here to the shape property and turn it to block. And there you go. You got a block. Or a part, or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it's pr pretty cool, pretty simple stuff. And it makes the block like closest to whatever shape it is. So if you want like a perfect square... You can just do block, and then you got you got it like that after from a, like a, a circle, cylinder, um, like a sphere. So yeah, guys, that's pretty cool. Um, and size, size, size is like the simplest thing. Um, one, one, one would be one stud. It's it goes by studs. Three, four, five would look like okay. Three, four, three, three, four would look like this. Um, if you repeat a number, it's always going to be a square. There's only going to be three numbers. Uh, like, let's do... So, on the y-axis, let's do 70. On the x, let's do 4. And on, on the z, let's do... Um, 1. So, it's going to be very tall, not very wide, um, oh, it's XYZ, messed up, but I, I was thinking it was going to look like this, but I messed up my axes, but, um, yeah, it's just changes the side, pr size, pretty much, that's, so those are pretty much, um, all the properties of a part, they're pretty small, oh, surface, surface, surface. 
nowadays by default parts are smooth they didn't used to be like that so you can actually change surfaces we'll do the top just to show off all these things but you can do a glue surface which looks like this and these have properties too a hinge surface which is a hinge an inlet surface which is kind of like studs but not the same a uh, motor surface smooth surface of course smooth no outlines stepping motor these are all different things and standard studs universal which is every other stud is like grayed out and weld which is almost like glue but different but i like to keep it at smooth but it depends what kind of properties you're looking for and yeah and surface inputs are you, you don't need to mess around with these like let's do top surface input top surface input like let's do 300 um it doesn't do much i think it um it doesn't do really much uh in studio but yeah so you don't need to worry about that Anyways, guys, that's probably going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, thank you for watching it the whole way through. And um, if you guys did enjoy, a like or, or a subscribe. Both of them really helped me out, help the channel. Um, likes are very appreciated. Um, I'll put a link to my channel in the description below. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.